Hello and what's up my friends, it's Thunderbob here, and tonight we are checking out some more Diablo 4. Uh, I have not been able to post any videos for a few days, I've had some family in town, and limiting my access to my computer as they're sleeping right next to the computer I usually game on. Uh, but I have uh, been playing on the Steam Deck a lot, and uh, I just finished the second capstone dungeon that allows you to move on to world tier 4. Pretty excited about this. I was able to accomplish this at level 63, which I feel is pretty early. That last fight actually gave me a little bit of trouble, but overall I was able to accomplish this without too much difficulty using the chain lightning, um, kind of infinite build I showed in that last video. I've made a few modifications to the gear, and I'm going to just quickly show you the stats and gear and paragon board, and then I'm going to have uh, just a full playthrough of that capstone dungeon with no commentary. Uh, just kind of showing you uh, how it performs on content that's about seven levels higher than my current level. And uh, just to show you what I'm using here, this is nice for the increased lucky chance. This has a ton of extra lightning damage and just straight damage on it. Plus, uh, anytime I run into an enemy uh, elite, I get a nice barrier. Very good for keeping me alive. And then I deal 25% more damage to immobilized. It's also got that plus two to chain lightning. Attack speed or critical uh, strike chance. This is almost perfect if it was just a little height of higher item power. Uh, this is nice. It gives me a second Frost Nova. This is one thing I've added to the build since that last video. And having two charges of Frost Nova is just incredible. It definitely keeps me alive. And also, I do so much more damage because uh, I've got some Paragon that does additional damage to crowd-controlled enemies. And also the vulnerable that the Frost Nova adds. Just a really nice enchantment. Uh, these uh, are nice just for the extra movement speed and picking up so many crackling energies. I'm kind of darting around the battlefield. This is, uh, I, I, I need to get a better weapon with this uh, aspect on it. This is really helpful for the build. It uh, increases your damage considerably. You know, 60% of the time I'm getting two additional chains. It helps feed my mana because I'm using this ring. Every time it bounces off me, I get additional mana. Uh, this is a new version of that. Look at that. 17 lightning critical strike damage, 14 lightning damage, lucky hit critical strike chance. That's beautiful. Uh, same thing here. This is just a really useful tool for uh, maintaining your mana. Like this build is all about being uh, as little downtime as possible while spamming your chain lightning. Every time I use a cooldown, which I have five cooldowns, actually six cooldowns with the double frost nova, I get 23 mana back. This gives me almost infinite mana, along with the uh, mana I get back for the crackling energies. And then lastly, this is a new aspect. I got a perfect one of these armor aspects, and what I realized was armor is doing a lot more than resistance for me. And uh, this almost doubles my armor when I've got 100 stacks, which happens almost, you know, immediately upon a big enemy group. So I go from like 40% reduction to like 85% reduction, which is pretty pretty incredible. So that is the uh, gear I'm using, and I'll show you the uh, skill tree real quick here, the basics. Uh, I don't use any um, of the uh, pr primary uh, basic skills because we've got enough mana regeneration and mana uh, gaining and mana reduction that chain lightning I can just spam and everything else is cooldown abilities. So put two points wherever you want here and then forget about it. One point for fireball as we are using uh, fireball and chain lightning enchantments and one point fireball rest in chain lightning i go down for crackling energy crackling energy i find is just amazing and this is by far i think the best generator of it it's 25 percent chance on critical strikes you'll notice that is not a lucky hit it's just 25 percent of your crits do form that crackling energy and you have a very high crit rate with this build one point in all the defensive abilities uh, this amulet, I didn't point it out, but it gives me plus three to all defensive, plus three to that Horfrost passive, which is nice. Shock damage, cooldown reduction. This is beautiful. If I had a little higher item level, this could take me probably all the way to uh, level 100. But uh, for my level, pretty beautiful. Uh, so one point in all the defensive, as many plus skills on these as possible to lower the cooldown reduction on Frost Nova. Teleport, I've got Glass Can, and I've got an Elemental Attunement which will reduce uh, one of these uh, to zero pretty frequently. Like every 10 seconds, basically, I get another free cooldown. 
one point here, this is a great uh, addition for uh, countering elites, and then these are just great defensive abilities. Gives you a barrier whenever you cast a cooldown, and we got lots and lots of cooldowns, don't we? Get your uh, additional lucky hit chance. Pretty much ignore this part of the tree. Uh, you could also try a variation of this build that uses Fire Bolt instead of one of these, and then you could go and get uh, some points in uh, the skills up here, like uh, this one in particular is very useful. I found the full lightning build more my playstyle, but uh, I've seen some people work this uh, really well as well. I get all these maxed out. I'm getting a lot of crackling energies. I'm getting a lot of mana, getting uh, additional crackling energy formed, and also uh, whenever I stun, I get a huge damage boost, and I'm stunning, um, you know, not a lot, 9% lucky hit chance. And uh, I'd say maybe once every uh, 25 to 30 casts, I'm seeing a stun. And uh, yeah, that's, uh, that's the basic build, unstable currents all the way down, and overflowing energy for the cooldown reduction and the additional enemies hit. Right now, my crackling energy hits six enemies when I teleport. This gives me uh, two additional. And then uh, the uh, overflowing energy gives me one more. So each one of these bubbles hits six enemies. Each enemy that's hit reduces my cooldown by either 0.1 or if it's an elite, 0.25. So a ton of cooldown reduction. You can end up having unstable currents, like just active, you know, two, three times on a really big, like, event going on. Uh, quickly, I'll look at the Paragon board. This is probably not completely optimized. I don't have all of the glyphs. I don't have all of the points necessary, but kind of critical ones. I went uh, on the first tree. Uh, down the right side, uh, I've got a glyph socket to do additional damage to crowd controlled, and then 20% more to frozen. So I'm getting, you know, 50% more damage on uh, frost nova enemies. Uh, down to this node and back up. They kind of split the path here. There might be a more optimal path on this, but this is the best I came up with at the moment. Getting down to that uh, ceaseless conduit for the crackly energy bonus. Came down this way and I'm using the Glyph Socket for the additional Crackling Energy. I don't have enough points yet to really take advantage of this. Uh, I originally had it down here, uh, but I found this Crowd Control one more beneficial for my style. But uh, when you put a couple of Intelligence uh, things in range, you can get like huge, huge increase to your Crackling Energy, and then you get that 15% uh, pretty much, pretty much an all-constant 15% increase in damage. And I'm working my way to grab this one, and then I'm going to break out into the next tree this way, I think. But again, I may re revisit this. It's not completely optimized. Still playing around with it for sure. Uh, but that's where I'm at. I managed to do this uh, seven levels early, and I didn't have too much trouble with it. I died maybe three times. Most of that on the boss, who was uh, tougher than I was expecting. But uh, this will be no commentary from here on out. If you uh, enjoy this video, please do uh, like, subscribe, and drop me a comment with any thoughts on the build, any improvements uh, you, you could see I could make. I do appreciate the feedback. And thank you again for watching, everyone. Have a good night. Cannot carry more. Anytime. 
time.
ready yet.
ready yet. I'm not ready yet. time. 